Hi guys, Paul here from Behavior News. Let me crack this open, I'm curious. Curious, curious, curious. Okay. Ah, all right, just wanted to see. Just wanted to see before we started the thing. This is Sly Fox's Hellas, which is a review, probably a re-review technically. But I wanted to get it just because I wanted something simple and easy. And that's all right if it's a revisit, because we appreciate revisits, because you should always revisit, just to see if your opinions are the same, see if your taste change, see this, see this. Look at that beautiful little clear beer. Now my question is, PA Wild Ales, my question is, does anyone remember when Sly Fox's whole top came off when you did it they had a whole pull thing where it opened up like a, a glass a you know a can glass and this whole thing would come out and you just drink it like that do you remember that i know i, I appreciate it i thought it was super cool I, I just liked it you know <laughs> so i mean i thought that was awesome um obviously they don't do that anymore but i thought it was really super cool they did all right so looks like oh the head has died so See what the date is on this BAB. Oh, we're still good. We're still good. So, cheers. The softest hint of what I call that lager funk, that little kind of grainy lager funk, and a little bit of something that reminds me of a hint of lemon. Let's just get into it. I'm going to start making a, uh, I'm going to start processing a bunch of, uh, vegetables and stuff like that because I'm going to make this big batch of tomato sauce that we're just going to can and keep for that. So I'm just going to get a beer, review it, start all that up and just enjoy it while I do that. So that's all I need. A nice simple one. A nice simple revisit. Cheers. Soft, there's a soft sweet corn vibe in the background. I wouldn't know if it's like corn exactly, but like a, a fr like a corn flake vibe. I just got a nice sweetness of that. Very enjoyable. Not not stewed corn or anything kind of weird like that, but it was just smooth and then the sweetness kind of came back in the back of the palate. A little bit colder than I would normally drink it, as I said before. Mm, a little pepperiness, a little grassiness. Smooth. Like I said, a little bit of sweetness on the back of the palate from that graininess. Easy peasy, lemon, squeezy, pretty much. Done. Sly Fox. Canned and brewed in uh, Sly Fox Brewing Company, Pottsville, Pottstown, PA. Now, Sly Fox is weird because I think they have a place in Collegeville, they have a place in Phoenixville, they have a place, you know what I mean? Those kind of things. Like ABC has a bunch of ship, a bunch of different uh, places too. So, but there you go. So Sly Fox Golden Lager, Hellas Golden Lager, independently brewed in Pennsylvania, of course, duh. So there you go. But I'm not going to go too crazy because it is what it is. But I will tell you, it's textbook solid. Textbook solid Hellas that anyone can enjoy. So definitely if you have an, if you have a, a more of a macro lover, those kind of things like that, like the, the Miller Lite and whatever, just buy one of these one. Not. Chill it down. Give it to them. See what he says. No, don't even tell them. Support it and give it to them. They might notice a slight difference because I said they have that beautiful sweetness in the background that came up. It was very enjoyable. But they probably say probably won't say it's too bad because it's not. But I will give it a 7.5. Solid little brew. Cheers. Watch that thing if it comes. Bye-bye. Woo!